Good afternoon. It's your man Earl. www.deuceswild22.com, www.figtreeglobal.com, and we are uh, in the middle of a series. We're going to do three days. Excuse me, my nose is itching. We're going to do three days on this idea of pre uh, preventative maintenance. Okay, we started out yesterday, and we gave you the concept, the definition of what preventative maintenance is, and today we're going to give you the how-to. Right. And like I told you yesterday, there are two sets of five in the how-to. So I'm going to give you the how-to do preventative maintenance today. And then uh, tomorrow, we're going to do the application of the how-to. So day one was yesterday, the overall general concept and definition. Today is the uh, quote-unquote uh, how-to, right? So let me, let me give you this right quick, just in case you, you forgot. The general definition of preventative maintenance is maintenance that is regularly performed on, you put a fill in the blank, your marriage, your business, your car, your finances, uh, your relationship with your children. You do preventative maintenance across the board, meaning you, this is, becomes a lifestyle, right? So you're doing preventative maintenance, health care, wellness. You know, I know you know people that traditionally don't go to the doctor, so go out and start getting to a doctor, start getting into wellness, start getting into preventative maintenance on what you're eating, right, to lessen the likelihood of it failing. So what, so what can fail? Your finances could fail, right? Your health can fail. How about your marriage could fail? I've gone through that, right? And wow, and here's the key right here. Preventative maintenance is performed while the blank is still working. With, so while you are having a good time in your relationship with your spouse or your children, you start doing preventative maintenance. While your business is successful, you do preventative maintenance, right? So you have all these different things that you start putting this practice in so it becomes a lifestyle. So now with that being said, that's the definition to lessen the likelihood of it breaking down unexpectedly. So now let's get into the how to. Okay, and here's the how to. There are five areas on the how to, right? First of all, do you have the right tools, aka uh, preparation? Two, you got to learn how to schedule it. How often do you need to have date night with your wife? How often do you need to have a powwow with your kid? How often do you need to go see a doctor for your own health, right? And then you got to have somebody, aka yourself, if you have a big, big business, someone's going to have to be the administrator to keep track of this. Okay, and then you're going to have to have people that can execute, all right? And then you're going to have to create a uh, self-sustaining improvement cycle. So, for example, every so often you go get your tires checked. Every so often you get your oil changed. Every so often you do the fluids, right, in your car. Like right now we got snow on the ground, a lot of mist, you know, a lot of salt, things melted. And so you get behind a truck. So I just had to go get, obviously, new tires by the grace of God and... Get the fluids replenished. Why? Because you're constantly cleaning off your window shield, right? And so you don't want to be stuck in the middle of a highway, can't see, and you don't have any fluid in your car. Why? What are we, what are we talking about? Preventative maintenance. Get that stuff checked out. What about your finances? What about your marriage? What about your business? So, step one, get the right tools. Okay? To start a preventative maintenance program, you must have the right tools. So, don't tell me you're going to start and you don't, have a, you don't even have a doctor to go get a physical. So you got to get the preparation phase or the phase of gathering the tools, a.k.a. what are the tools? People. It may be a person or two. Okay? Then once you gather the tools, step two is now you're going to figure out how you're how you going to schedule it. All right? How and when are you going to schedule it? Is it once a month? Is it once a quarter? Is it once uh, every six months? Is it annually? You have to figure out how to schedule it. Okay, step three, how are you going to keep track of it, a.k.a. administration? All right, don't do all the back work. Don't do all the hard work and then lose your files. Someone has to administer, a.k.a. keep track of all the things that you're doing. For example, I had to make two copies of what was done to the car. Why? One to keep in the car and one to keep in the file. So I know what was done in the last week of November regarding my vehicle. You got to keep track. You have to have administration. Okay? Step four is now you're going to have to execute. I'm going to have to set aside time 
to go get the car maintenance. I have to set aside time to go work out, right? I just can't say I'm going to develop a plan to go work out, go get the tools, a.k.a. a membership at a local gym, and then I don't execute, right? And then step five is, of course, getting into a cycle of lifestyle. So now I go work out every Friday morning, right? Start out. Okay, now I'm working out every Wednesday and Friday morning. Okay, why? What am I doing? We're talk Some people call this continuous improvement, right? I call. I like to call it sustainable maintenance. Okay, don't try to do things that you can't sustain. It's not going to help you. All right. So today is part two. Preventative maintenance. First thing you do. Five steps in this. First thing, gather the tools. Second thing, you have to figure out how often, aka called scheduling. Okay, third thing is who's going to administrate or are you going to be your own administration? Keep track of the records that you create. Step four, learn how to execute. And then step five, let it become a lifestyle over a period of time, which some people call continuous improvement. I call it preventative maintenance uh, lifestyle or sustainability, which you want to get fancy. All right, this is your man Earl, day 333, November 29th, Thursday afternoon, getting ready to go to Bible study. This is your man Earl. God bless. Put it in practice. Preventative maintenance. Peace.